What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a solid state drive, possibly one of the best solid state drives that I've ever had the pleasure of reviewing. It is from Samsung, it is the 840 Pro Series SSD. Today's episode is brought to you by Copy.com. Get 20 gigabytes of free cloud storage at lgic.co slash copy. With desktop and mobile applications, it puts other cloud storage services to shame. Right off the bat, I've gotta say this is possibly one of the best solid state drives that I've had the pleasure to review. I've had this unit for the past two months. I've been using it with a Windows 7 installation. I've been putting it through its limits and well, I've gotta say, it has done phenomenally. We'll get more into that in a second, but let's take a look what comes inside of the box. So for example, here is the box itself. It's pretty small, nothing too um, much about it really. You can see this is the 256 gigabyte version. On the back you have uh, information like uh, promotional stuff, stuff like that. So that's on the back of the box. You have the hard drive, or I'm sorry, not the hard drive, the solid state drive itself. And then you have software. What's really cool is that there's uh, of course, your installation guide, your warranty information, but it comes with a software CD that has your manual on it, as well as a piece of software that allows you to move Windows installations from maybe your hard drive or another solid state drive onto the Samsung drive. And it does that with the software, it gets everything, transfers everything over. They include that piece of software free of charge within uh, the solid state drive. So. That's something to note if you're one of those people who wants to transfer from maybe a hard drive to a solid state drive and may be thinking, well, it's gonna be too hard. Well, know that they include a piece of software to help you do that. Looking at the solid state drive itself, there's nothing really too much there. I mean, here's the front made out of nice metal enclosure as well. On the back, you have serial information as well as the model stuff like that. So it's very bare minimal. Here's your SATA ports. It is SATA 3, so it gets up to six gigabit, stuff like that. What's really cool is that it has two different mounting points. Of course, mounting points on the bottom. Here's the four ones right here. But there's also mounting points on the side as well. So you can mount it up, uh, whether you're mounting it flat down or maybe on its side or something like that. Well, there you go. You have two different mounting ports. You can see it's incredibly thin. It's so thin that it can fit in ultra books as well. So if you have an ultra book that's super thin, this is compliant with fitting in there. If you, you know, feel like upgrading your drive to something that's, you know, more than what came with it. Now let's get into the nitty gritty portion of the episode where I take out my notes and I tell you all the statistics and stuff and performances that I've done on it because I've ran every performance known to man on it, benchmarks, uh, disc marks, stuff like that. So First off the bat, there's three versions of this solid state drive. There's a 128 gigabyte, there's a 256, and a 512. The 256 and the 512 are the highest rated, with the 128 being a little bit uh, less rated on uh, most of the uh, transfer speeds. But if you're using 128, those transfer speeds probably won't matter to you, because um, I recommend at bare minimum for solid state drives getting a 256 drive. Now you have to also note that this is a pro drive. Samsung also sells a non-pro drive and the differences between the two is that they have less IOPS, uh, a little bit less transfer speeds, so a little bit less on everything. Um, personally for me it's worth the money to go for their pro versions. Uh, for example, read speeds on a pro version would be 540 megabits where uh, read speeds on the non-pro would be 520. Uh, in, on the reads, the writes would be 400 versus 450, IOPS 80K to 100K. So the pro versions are rated at 100K IOPS, which is pretty fantastic. One of the things that I love about Samsung's solid state drives is that they control everything. They control what's inside of it. They control the hardware, they control the firmware, they control the controllers. So it's all Samsung hardware through and through. So they're not using uh, a third party controller and they have to work around it. No, they can uh, work with it because it's within their own company, which I think is fantastic because it allows for uh, better integrations, better, uh, well, a better drive overall. So 
Let's get into benchmarks here. So on my max in sequential writes, I was getting about 510, 509, 510 uh, megabits. This was with the drive about half full. I had Steam games on there, programs loaded up on there, um, and that's what I got after um, an average usage, basically. Uh, writes is about 490. I got, I got up to 492 sometimes when I was running. So uh, is definitely a very fast drive. It is within the top, you know, three or four drives um, in, well, all of the solid state drives. It, beat, it even beat out my uh, favorite solid state drive, which is the Vertex 4 from OCZ. It actually beat it out in some of the benchmarks. So it is up there and is one of the, probably the best solid state drives that you could get on the market today, which is a key thing for people who are looking to build systems is what is the best when I'm building this? Well, the Samsung 840 Pro is definitely one of the best. It is, in my opinion, close to perfect. Uh, when I'm looking at solid state drives, everything rings out as being the best. Samsung controls everything, so you don't have to worry uh, about you know failures and wondering, well, who am I gonna have to uh, you know contact if something fails? Uh, there's stuff like that, which I think is very cool and well, works for Samsung in the better. Now, I have, when I was doing some research and doing my benchmarks and stuff, that people have been, uh, noting that the solid state drives were failing within the first couple of weeks. Now I've had, again, I told you I had this drive for two months, been using it straight for two months. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, everything is perfect. Uh, it is working. I had no failures and reading into it a little bit more, I realized that some of those failures actually come from uh, firmware, bad firmware. But all the solid state drives right now are shipping with uh, the corrected firmware and no, uh, well, no bugs, no failures should come in the future. And when I say no bugs and no failures, I mean that we're existing, that we're causing some of the drives to fail. Now comes the time in the episode when I have to critique the solid state drive, and that's pretty hard because it's pretty close to perfect. The only critique that I have for it is that I wish Samsung would fix the speeds for the smaller file sizes, uh, if you have small files, maybe a gigabyte or below, uh, there is some crippling effects within the solid state drive when transferring it uh, on or off the drive. I don't know why it came in about the middle of the pack rather than higher in the pack, which we've seen in the higher uh, transfer speed. So I don't know why that happens, but that's a Samsung thing. That's my only critique for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have a Samsung 840 Pro, let us know in the comments down below. Tell us what you think about it. It's definitely uh, love to hear your own feedback as well. If you'd like to pick one up for yourself, there will be a link down in the description or right about here within the video. It should be lgic.co slash 840 Pro. If you wanna pick one up from Amazon, that is of course our affiliate link that kind of gives us a little credit for making this amazing video for you guys. Once again, my name is Creighton Miller. If you'd like to follow us on our social media profiles, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, all under the username of Logic Lounge. That's, you know, twitter.com slash Logic Lounge, facebook.com slash Logic Lounge, Google+, you gotta search for Logic Lounge on there because their things don't work out very well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the review. We will see you guys next time.